Today we are trying Papa's Pizza to go in Yakinville, North Carolina. Let's get right into it. This right here is the pepperoni pizza. You know what? I don't actually see any pepperonis over here. First bite's for you. All right, so there are no pepperonis on this pepperoni pizza. That's pretty upsetting. I'll start off by saying that I did get the thin crust pizza. That being said, the crust is flaky and crunchy, everything that I like in a thin crust pizza. However, there's not a whole lot of sauce on there. And because there's not a whole lot of sauce on there, I can't really taste the flavor of it. And on top of that, they didn't put pepperonis on it. I just assumed that the pepperonis were on the bottom because a lot of places do that. They got me. Overall, this pizza is okay at best. I give it a five out of 10. Let's try it with the ranch. Oh my God, that ranch is a hit. Good God, I gotta move on. Next up, we're gonna try what they are calling piggy sticks. First bites for you. Uh, I was expecting a whole lot more than this. This right here is basically just with a breadstick with cheese and bacon on it. Now don't get me wrong, the saltiness of the cheese and the bacon mixed together, it's always a good combination, but there's no sauce on it and there's not really anything special about it. Let's try it with some marinara sauce. See that combination right there, that's pretty good. The marinara sauce itself is very robust, rich in flavor, not too salty, and it pairs well with these cheese sticks that are dry and really need something to complement it. Without the marinara sauce, I give these a four. With the marinara sauce, I give these a six and a half. Hold on, let me try this with the ranch. Ranch makes everything better. Next up, we are going in with the chicken fiesta pizza. Now this is supposed to be one of their most popular menu items. First bites for you. Okay, now this one is pretty good. All of the flavors combine very, very well. The base of it is a ranch sauce and it's got chicken, tomatoes, bacon, and cheese on it. Even the little chicken pieces are seasoned well. That's a hit right there. Mm, mm, mm. I got an eight and a half out of 10. This is one of my favorites. Finally got my Taylor Swift cup. It's just water. This is their garlic butter. Ooh, get in there. That's pretty disappointing. I was expecting so much more than this. I barely taste any garlic at all, and the oiliness of this, it ain't for me. Nah. Finally, we are trying the pizza roll. Now, to me, this just looks like a stromboli with extra steps. First bite's for you. Okay. Okay. Let's dip it in this marinara sauce. I see what we're working with here. So basically, what they did is take the ingredients, roll it up, and then bake it and then slice it into nice little pieces. For me, I got pepperonis, banana peppers, and cheese inside of mine. It's got a crusty outside, soft and fluffy inside. The ingredients are delicious. And they had the nerve to put Parmesan garlic seasoning on the top. This right here is a hit, especially when you combine it with the marinara sauce. That's an eight out of 10, easy. With some ranch. Whoever was back there making this ranch, my hat's off to you. Cause this right here, made everything 10 times better. <sighs> Overall, this was a good food experience. The people inside were really nice. They treated me like I was family. They had the food out quick. Give this a seven and a half out of 10. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for me. I appreciate you tuning in. As always, be kind to yourself. Have a good day.